the National Treasury will also be hard pressed to balance between financing the huge budget and imposing a heavy tax burden on Kenyans in the midst of a pandemic. Now, Parliament's Budget and Appropriations Committee anticipates an increase of revenue collections by the KRA of, get this, 210 billion shillings. But with a deficit of a whopping 929 billion shillings, the committee now wants the country's debt ceiling raised to at least 9 trillion shillings. Take a listen. Treasury Cabinet Secretary Kuriatani, who will deliver the country's biggest budget to date, but of keen interest will be on how the Treasury will source the funds to finance the budget. Of the 3.66 trillion shillings in the budget, Treasury hopes to secure 2.03 trillion shillings from revenues and the remaining from foreign financing and domestic borrowing. Going by the finance bill, the government proposes a raft of tax measures, including imposing taxes on income accrued from businesses carried out over the internet, known as the digital tax, which is expected to raise about 5 billion shillings. The bill further proposes the introduction of country-by-country -country reporting required on Kenyan headquartered multinationals to increase taxes lost on other tax havens. The bill also proposes to increase the rate of withholding tax upon payment of service fees on non-resident subcontractors operating in the extractive industries from 5.6% to 10%. In the Budget and Appropriations Committee report, income tax, which accounts for 50% of taxes collected, is expected to increase by 102 billion shillings. Excise duty collected during the period is expected to be at 241 billion shillings, VAT to be at 473 billion shillings, and import tax to be at 119 billion shillings. I say it's overly ambitious because uh, first if you look at the revenue projections that are projected of close to 2.03 2 uh, trillion shillings, an ordinary revenue of about 1.8 trillion. Vis-a-vis -vis what is happening this year in the midst of a pandemic and uh, a lot of businesses have, haven't gone down, a lot of people having lost jobs, uh, it may not be very realistic and I think this is an issue and my brother here will agree with me that we raised even in the last two or three years. Compounding this further, at least 1.2 million Kenyans have lost jobs in the formal sector, according to the Federation of Kenya Employers, this casting doubt on the ability of revenue generation. And we can share with them. With more than 900 billion shillings in deficit, the National Treasury is looking to borrow 658 billion shillings, which will be sourced locally, and the remaining 271 billion shillings from foreign debt. Borrowing locally is uh, going to be a challenge, and uh, when we borrow locally, we definitely crowd out the private sector. It's not a very uh, juicy direction to take. And borrowing externally, again, will pile up the debts. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted the government's ability to meet its expenditure requirements amidst pressure for additional resources to service the current debt load, which stands at 7.34 trillion shillings. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.